The state fair starts next week, already next Thursday. And you know, there is more to the state fair than just a mini donuts and corn dogs. There really is. There's actually a lot to learn. Many learning opportunities for kids. Think about that. Uh, Elise McGregor, owner of Little Newton's Early Education Centers, is here with ideas and how parents can share some of those learning lessons at home that you can pick up at the fair. There really are. I mean, we, we focus a lot on the food because there is so much great food it's there. amazing. But there are plenty of other vendors out there and booths where, you know, they're just a, lessons to learn. Yes, absolutely. And I think that the animal part of the fair is big people are very focused on the food but the barns that they have and the information that they have um, in the barns about the animals is great for kids they can spend a lot of time in there learning about it and one of the um, things I brought today is a cow milking experiment on mm -hmm. how you could show your children at home they love to go to that at the fair and um, it's very simple it includes a rubber glove if you rinse it out, it makes it easier to poke through. Mm -hmm. And then a push pin, and just poke one of the fingers. You can put milk, colored water, however. Whatever. And then you just show, show them, them how you can pull like it's this, coming right? out very fast. Yeah. Well, that's how you're supposed to do it. Of course, you're doing it with your hands, but. Yes. I've learned a few things from M.A. Roscoe, of all people, about how to milk a cow, even though I've never actually, I haven't done it with her, but yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's a great, great thing to bring the kiddos through to do it at home prior to the fair, kind of show them, you know, what they're going to do at the fair mm -hmm. and get them excited about it. Um, the next thing is a corn game. And, you know, Minnesota mm -hmm. is one of the top producers of corn. And so this is great for toddlers. And what we have is they can, it's a flashcard, so they can pick the number and then they take these to put how many that shows. Mm -hmm. So then they get both of the fine motor and the learning of the numbers so then that would go in there yeah. next one they would do it beforehand and then go all the way up so that's a great that's cute. yeah it's cute just little a corn cut out there and as we talked about they love corn mm -hmm. that's, that's exciting and then <laughs> unless uh, you have braces i guess exactly. i just learned something that <laughs> you're not supposed to eat corn when you have braces no that's not as much fun <laughs> um and then this apple browning experiment is really fun for the kids you know you can take them through the horticulture at the state fair teach them about minnesota grown apples and what i did was i cut up the apples you put different things in lemon juice milk baking soda vinegar and what it shows them you put the apples in give it a few days and it shows them how the apples brown and the oxidation of the air and the apple lemon juice will protect the apple from browning so it's just kind of fun to watch it grow um, into browning. It's science, kids. Look at, no, I, I, the lemon juice, I'm assuming, is the one that lasts the longest. Maybe yes. it's vinegar. I don't know. The lemon juice will protect it. Okay. And Moving then on. we have some fun art projects on a stick. And so kids love art, and art is a fantastic way to teach them things. So this chicken, for example, um, teaches them about fractions, cutting up the paper plate into certain, you know, fours, halves and then making an art project with it, and then making it on a stick. As far as the- Learning on a stick. Yeah. Um, as cute. far as the horse goes, it's a child's foot. And so they kind of have, they have ownership in their art, and they love things that include their handprints or footprints. And then the cow has um, dots per the age of the child. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes it their own specific cow. And then the sheep is just a fun, fine motor, Kids love cotton balls. They love gluing things on. Yeah, and, and what age? Uh, so these are for the little ones. These are for the little, you know, the toddlers. The toddlers. And then, you know, kids probably under five. Yes, and I think that as they, the preschoolers will really enjoy a project like this as well as the glove. But the little kids are um, the art projects and counting, counting with the corn. Okay. All right, great. Elise McGregor, thank you so much. Thank you. Great ideas to take, uh, you know, maybe a trip to the fair or even before you go to the fair yeah, and show ready. the kids what they're going to, you know, see at the fair and some learning moments. Find them. Other, you know, we, we love the food, but we also we do. love the learning. Yes. Thanks, Elise. Elise McGregor. Uh, McGregor, thanks so much for joining us this morning from Little Newton's.